What is up everybody? How you guys doing today? Today's video topic, we're going to talk about rest days. Should you take rest days? What's so great about rest days? How many rest days should you take? We'll get to that in a second. We'll hit the first question. Should you take rest days? Well, you know, for me, I have two types of rest days. The first rest day being the actual definition of rest day, which is I'm sitting my butt on the couch, eating food, thinking about the gym, but not going and watching Netflix. Then the second type of rest day is um, you know, something where I'm doing a light incline walk on the treadmill for 15-20 minutes, maybe some jump rope and throw in an arm or ab circuit. Now for the past couple months it's been the latter half where I do at least something in the gym rather than nothing because I'm the type of person that can't sit still on the couch and, and you know for my rest day I feel that I need to ease up on the carbs, ease up on the on, on what I'm eating, um, make, not make my caloric intake that much higher because I'm just sedentary, I'm not doing anything. So if you're like me, who has that type of mentality where something is better than nothing, you know, do that rest day where you're, you know, at least just keeping your muscles warm and loose and flexible by walking on the treadmill, doing some type of very light cardio um, even stretching after that treadmill instead of jump rope and then for me I just throw in arms and, and abs because you know those exercises I'm maybe doing 60% of my total exertion compared to 100% when I'm doing chest, back, legs, what have you. So you know it, it's all about preference. I tell everyone that every body is different. Um, you know your mentality, how you think, how you feel. Um, there's days where I you know am overload and I, I feel um, drained and, and I'm irritable and stuff like that and that's when I'll really probably take that rest day the first type of rest day not doing anything because you know that that's where it's starting to become really uh, an issue where that my body is pretty much telling me you know I need that rest but um, you know I try to do my rest day every um, every Sunday or every Friday depending on how my schedule looks so there's wiggle room for that um, but you know for me Nine times out of ten, I'm still at the gym doing something um, because I'm, I just feel that doing something is better than doing nothing. And there will be people who will comment and disagree, and, and, and that's fine. And they'll say that, you know, no, your body needs that, that whole day of not doing anything, that whole day of rest. You need to recover. Your muscles are all torn up. You need to carb up on that rest day, the refeed, everything like that. And, dude, like if that works for you, that works for you. But for me, what I do works for me. And, uh, you know, I really don't have to worry about what you do. So figure out what works for you. So let's say you want to do a rest day, either my type of rest day or the other person's rest day of not doing anything. How many should you take? So my suggestion is between one and two. Um, you know, again, depending on your mentality, uh, I only take one. Try to do it maybe, um, you know, middle of the week rather than you know work out five times a week and six times a week and then take it off on that one that's why I kinda like to break it up on Fridays I'll, I'll go to the gym Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday that's four days in a row take off Friday and then do Saturday Sunday but um, you know some people say every three days um, maybe what you could do is if you wanna opt for two rest days maybe do every three days and that one um, rest day is a literal rest day and then the second one is more of a light light intensity rest day um, because I, I think you know not going to the gym two times out of the week you know depending on what you do in the gym when you're there you know if you use your time efficiently most people don't they text and everything like that um, you know don't do that but if, if you go to the gym and you kill it and you do things right and you're very serious about it and and you know you you're there you get shit done and you leave I, I see no problem taking uh, two rest days or one. So that's just my opinion when it comes to the rest day. Um, I, I feel that it is a necessary thing whether you do my type of rest day or sitting on the couch and, and not working out at all. Um, I definitely think it's important because what we do to our bodies are so intense and, and you know our, our muscles do need that recovery. And uh, you'll, you'll learn that, you know, if, if you're the type of person that's never really believed in rest day, once you start doing it, you'll learn that that next day that you're going, 
um, after the rest day, you're going to feel a lot more energized, and that's going to make your workouts better and thus progress your um, improvements on yourself. So it, it's all about, you know, improving yourself the smartest way possible. So, you know, I tell people there's no reason you need to go to the gym six, seven days a week. There's absolutely no reason. If you do everything right and you're efficient and you're in and you're out, you know, you could go to the gym three, four times. That's it. That's all you need. Now, I'm a, I'm a prime example of crazy because I do all that. I'm very efficient with what I do. It's just this is my hobby. You know what I mean? It's and it's it's really not a hobby. It's a lifestyle. That quote has been done to death, but it's true. I I find pleasure and enjoyment working out and and seeing my my friends and and discussing and and talking about people in between sets. Not when I'm working out, um, but you know that's just my opinion when it comes to the rest days because there's there's some things you know and I've said this a million times that there are people who will say one thing that it's great for you and one person that will say it's bad. Um, it's all about you know doing some research and playing with it and seeing how your body reacts to it personally and how you are getting your results if it's improving or, or uh, decreasing your gains. So guys, if you have any questions, please let me know. If you could subscribe right here and check out my last video right here, I'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, I make these videos for you. I am a certified personal trainer and... Um, you know this is this is my life and I absolutely love it so I understand that the the whole fitness thing could be confusing we have a million people on YouTube um, making videos about health fitness and nutrition but I'd say a good amount of them don't really understand what they're talking about nor practice what they preach I won't name names but that's just me you guys probably could tell who that is so thank you guys for watching and as always stay healthy